Hi, this is Bob Grant, and in this video of You Ask, I Answer, I wanted to address a question that came in from someone, and the way they described it is, they say, what is really the art of getting what you want from men? I, th I think what they're asking is, is, what is the magic button or the secret wand that enables you to get whatever you want from a man? Well, normally when I've looked in Amazon and looked under eBooks and some of the comments of, of my book, um, The Attraction Factor, you know, some of the women will say, oh, you know, there is no such thing. It doesn't exist. All these books promise this. And the truth is, it actually does exist. But what's tricky about it is, is it usually isn't going to come about the way you think it should. So a lot of times what women think should work on a man, men go, eh, that's okay, that's nice, but it doesn't really appeal to me a lot. And the things that men like, women would go, I don't feel like doing that. See, see a lot of the women I talk with and a lot of people that buy my programs, they actually want to do what they want to do and then get the result they want. And that doesn't work. I mean, I could do the same thing, you know, I'd like to you know, invest in the stock market the way I wanted to and it works, but it doesn't work at all. You lose all your money doing that. So if getting what you want from a man, being able to have that kind of influence over him is what you want, then you most likely are going to have to think and do things differently. Ugh, women say to me, it's work. I don't want to do that. Ugh, I don't. Is it work? Well, it does imply that you're going to have to do some things that may not seem familiar to you. But it's not work in the sense of you're going to hate every minute of it. And it's not, you know, conversely saying that you don't have to be who you are. Is that having influence over a man is about meeting or touching those needs that are, in, you know, sort of born inside of him, that are hardwired into him. And when you tap into those, he has a natural inclination to want to please you. So how do you get what you want? Well, the, the good thing is, is as a woman, you actually have an advantage over men simply by being a girl. Yes, that sugar and spice in your eyes and the curve on the back of your neck, guys are just naturally inclined to like that. And the secret is, is that men are not nearly as harsh on women as women are. Women just, men just like the shape of a woman. Men just like her smile. Men in general just like women. If you go to an airport sometime and look around, out of the corner of your eye, watch. Men will notice all women. That they, they, men just notice women. Period. They don't just look at the really, you know, striking ones. And so, getting what you want from a man, if you're in a relationship with him, is my question to you: Is are you easy to please? Because if you're easy to please, he's more likely to want to please you. If he finds it difficult to please you, after a while, he'll stop trying because men get tired of you know, your sighs or thanks or, you know, what he wants is the emotional reaction from you. Now, if you're with someone that just doesn't please you that often, you just don't find what he does that appealing, okay, my question is, are you with the right guy? Or do you expect something more from him that you should from a boyfriend or even a husband? So I'm, I'm going to push you a little bit on this one. So if you're a woman, you know, and you find it hard for most of the relationships and most of the guys you've been out with or even your husband right now to please you, my question is, do you want a father or do you want a relationship? See, a father, which, you know, when I am to my young daughter, I'm supposed to think in terms of what she needs and wants. You know, she's, you know, at this, at this time she's eight. And at eight years old, she's not supposed to take care of me. I'm supposed to take care of her. I'm supposed to put my needs ahead of her, at least most of the time. And I don't expect the same thing from her. I don't depend on her emotionally like I do my wife. And so my job is to put her needs ahead of mine most of the time. And I can do that because I'm in charge of her. I'm responsible for her. And now, if you want a man to have that kind of attentiveness with you, then you probably are going to have to defer a lot of power to him. I don't know that you want that, but you probably will. But if you want to, or if you're easy to please, what I mean by that is, is that can you find the joy, can you find pleasure in the fact that he's trying to please you? And it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to get the stuff you don't want all the time, but if you reward his efforts, he's more likely to keep trying. And what will happen is, is, is there's, you, you know, there's you being pleased with him, I appreciate this, that's so sweet of you, and there's the other times when he does something you really like where you'll just naturally light up. I mean, you should. If you're holding back, that's going to ruin this. 
And he'll tell the difference between those two times. So what will happen is those times when you just light up like a Christmas tree and you just glow for what he did, he'll, in his mind he'll go, oh, that works. I need to do that again. And as he does that, what happens is he'll start wanting hints. He'll start associating you getting what you want with you lighting up. And now here's a word of caution with this. I had one wife say to me, it was a friend of mine, and her husband was saying, would you explain to her, please, why it's so important, you know, that I make her happy? And I asked her, and, and she, says, you know, she says, Bob, when I, you know, I'm not someone that says stuff. I like to keep it here in my heart. And I said, okay, fair enough. When you get upset with him, do you keep it here in your heart? And she smiled, and she says, no. She says, when I get upset with him, I tell him. I said, well, that's the problem. I said, he sees your passion. But he doesn't know when he's done something really well because you hold back with that. But you don't hold back most of the time when he does something you don't like. So if you'll make it a point when he does something you like to overdo it some, he won't laugh at you. He may say, oh, you're being silly. Don't believe him. Trust me, he loves it. That's how you train him, oh, this works. And when men know something works because men love a cheat sheet, they go, oh, I can do this again. I can do this more often. So that's a little more extended maybe than what you ask. But how do you get what you want? Is there a magical formula? There is, but it takes some training of the man for you and him to get to know each other. It takes just some practice with him. Don't expect this just to come naturally. Some men are better at this than others. But you really can train a man. You really can have a way to get what you want from him. But he has to feel that there's a payoff for him. And you may think that's selfish. I don't think so. Because there's no payoff for him, again, then what you're talking about is him being a father figure to you, and I don't think you really want that. All right, so that's our answer to this video. And as always, please look around um, and take a look and see what offerings we have for you. If it's, if it's a special report or one of our programs, uh, we'd love to have you involved, especially in the Women Men Adora Club. And thanks again for tuning in.